it's Friday again. And so you know what time it is. It's five fast Fridays. Today we're doing something different. This is five rare knives real fast. You guys know what time it is. Turn down the volume. Here comes a little bit of music. knives are super rare but before we get into everything that's going on this is good bad flicks it's another one of those channels that reviews good flicks bad flicks it goes through them and it, it kind of just lays them out for you it's a lot like brandon tenold and, and some of those other channels that i really like uh fanboy flicks they they go through good movies they go through bad movies but they go through them and they, they tell you about it so this is good bad flicks i'm gonna put a link to them go down check them out below because like i say supporting the channels you love i can't give them any money but i can send you guys their direction so the knives we're gonna look out today are not like ultra rare. I had one in earlier and I sent it off back with Nico and I could have had it in and it, it was really, really rare. It was a one of a kind, which was a Bob Drizzle full custom, but you guys had seen that in a video before. I have a couple other custom knives, semi-custom knives that are rare, but this is just gonna be fun. It's gonna be five rare knives that I currently have on hand here for our five fast Friday. Our fast five Friday, five fast Friday, you know. I can't ever get it right. So guys, let's turn this around without any further ado and take a look at these rare knives on the table. Guys, the first knife we're gonna look at is a very rare 1990s Spyderco Q. Now this is the skeletonized one. That, now, all the information I found on these came out around 1996, 97. These were done as a display for the uh, Blade Magazine 25th anniversary. So basically in the Spyderco case, you'd see one of these like this in the case, and then a picture of 25, 25th anniversary of Blade Magazine, and then the Spyderco models underneath it. There's not very many of these around. Uh, like I said, these were a promotional thing that were sent out to vendors, but it is kind of a cool knife. There is a lot of detail laser cutout that's done on this. Um, you know, is, is it great? It's not something I would carry, but it is kind of cool to see some of this history and, and it had some pretty ingenious ideas on it. There's a, you can completely remove this pocket clip and move it to any of these points without a driver. Uh, it is extremely light. This is probably the lightest knife I have ever held. That is not like just a little, uh, pen knife or something like that. This is so, so light. So, um, and it had kind of an innovative lock. It's not the greatest lock. It does have a good bit of play. Uh, but like when you're just looking at uniqueness and overall weirdness and rarity, this is one that you have to have up there. So Spyderco Q Skeleton Knife. The next knife is a knife you guys just saw in a video the other day. This is the Ferrum Forge Furco. Uh, the first collaboration that was done with Elliot Williamson and Mike Gavick over at Gavco Knives. So Ferrum Forge and Gavco together, F-E-R, Ferrum. KO, Gavco, Furco. And so this this was this is one of Elliot's early knives, and it is super, super rare for a couple of reasons. One, it's in a steel that Elliot never really used very often, which is Z Finite. He was typically a fan of 20 C V. Most of his knives after a certain point. He did some in LMAX. I mentioned I forgot to mention that in the previous video. He did a couple runs in LMAX, but most of what he did was um 20 C V. He like did two off runs in XHP, didn't really like it. So it's kind of unusual because one, it's number 11 of 40, and two, it's in a steel that Elliot didn't use very often. But as you can see, really cool, really neat. The action on this one sounds, the, the sound on it, amazing. Listen to this. Bang. Uh, and this is an old knife. This knife has been around for a while. So a lot of fun. I did a big video on this. I really enjoyed having this in. That's why you guys are getting to see it again for the Fast Five Friday. Really, really cool, really rare Ferrum Forge knife. The next knife is kind of rare, and as you guys can see, I still have the box for this. This is not as rare as some of the other knives, uh, but I mean, it was available probably more mainstream than a lot of the other knives we're showing right now, but the fact is, it's rare because there weren't very many that were purchased. And so, you know, the, the Cold Steel Triple Action 
is kind of rare because there's not a lot of them out there because a lot of people didn't buy them. Um, I have all three versions. I have the Tonto, I have the Tonto serrated, and I have this one, which is the double-edged blade right here. I like this one a lot. This is probably the one that's going to stay. I'll probably get rid of the other two. Um, probably going to do one as a giveaway and one as a sale. But yeah, these were kind of cool. Aluminum triple action handles. These are uh, I've seen a couple other people do knives that are really similar to this um, with this triple action stuff, but it's basically what's called an enclosed folder. There's only a couple ways you can carry a couple other ways that you can carry a double edged blade, and that would be as a fixed blade in a sheath or as a butterfly, like a ballet. This kind of gives you that. Now, I do know that there's a couple other people that make folders that are the daggers. The uh, I know that. Um, uh, Brian Nadeau makes the uh, arch nemesis dagger, but you know, really, truly the safest way to do it was this enclosed folder method uh, where basically it's it slips in on itself like that. So really cool, really fun. This did get carried a lot. I, I, I have to admit this got carried a lot when I was, when I first got it. So the triple action folder by Cold Steel. So the fourth knife in this Fast Five is the Laconico LV Knives Collaboration Lancer. Now, I talked with Ray Laconico about this. He says this knife is pretty rare. I have not been able really to find any information about the original Lancer. Um, there is a lot of information about the Lancer 2, which was a smaller version of this, but basically this was Ray's first try at doing a, what did they say? What did he say? It was a mid-tech, sub-custom, almost custom, you know, uh, build us made. It was his first one and it was with Mike over at LV knives. And he said that he ground some Mike ground some, this is a really fun knife that came in from my buddy, uh, Tino, uh, as you can see the Lancer LV knives, Ray Laconico design. This is a big knife. It's a lot of fun. And I've only ever seen this one. I've never seen another one. This came in for sharpening for Tino and I've still got to shoot a video about it. So I've got to sharpen and shoot a video about this knife. So, yeah, the Lancer one basically by LV Knives. Really rare, hard to come by. Don't even know a price on this. I asked Ray, and he says he really can't remember. I've seen these for around seven or $800. Uh, he said that he thinks they were around $550 at the time of production, which is about standard for those mid-tech, um, you know, almost custom uh, custom knives that were getting put out at that time when it was a new thing. So about 550, I say, would probably be a good guess at what the price was on that when it first came out. So there's the LV Knives and Lancer. The last knife in this five is a very unique knife by Jeff over at Tough Thumbs, or over at Tough Knives. Jeff Tough Thumbs. Uh, this is a custom Tandic, and this was one of what. Uh, Jeff called the Golden 20. There was only 20 of these knives that went out. This knife is really, really unique. It's got some really special look to it. It almost looked like it looks like a fish with the dead eyes. Um, I can't remember what fish that is that has the really white eyes. But yeah, really cool look. All hand done, all handmade, all hand rock patterned. Um, big copper backspacer, handmade pocket clip. These are hard to come by. Jim Skelton, I showed him this when we did the uh, podcast, and he was like, oh, man, that takes me back. Uh, the custom Tanics were really unique. I mean, not just unique in look, but the fact was these were some of the best folding customs that came out for a long time. The action on these were great. Dead center, dead center. Um, hand cut lock bar, all that. Really, really fun. I, this thing is heavy. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's heavy. And it, for as weird as it looks, it feels really good in hand. I'm not gonna lie to you. The comfort level on this knife, there are no hot spots in this. So the last knife for this fast five, these five rares is the Tough Thumbs Tannic. Guys, there you have it. Five rare knives real fast. So I like doing these five fasts. I'm going to keep doing them on Fridays. It just kind of seems like it's going to be a thing. This is part four, I believe. I, the five knives that make me smile, I think, really technically was part part three, but I didn't label it as such. So at any rate, it's just a lot of fun. I enjoy doing them. Thanks, Jared, for uh, for making that uh, 
that comment or that uh, that idea for me and pushing me into doing it because it is it is fun and you guys seem to like it. So, guys, if you like the channel and you like the videos, give them a thumbs up. But if you don't like them, give them a thumbs down. Just tell me why so I can change content. I can't change content if I don't know what's wrong with it. If you want to support the channel, there's numerous ways you can do it. It's sometimes simple as, like I said, just liking the videos or disliking them. That's still an interaction. But you can share the videos with people that you think would enjoy them. Uh, if you want to support the channel monetarily, there's a bunch of different ways. I have memberships tabs down below. Three different tiers. They get you three different levels of benefits. Premium tier gets you everything. Uh, basic Baseline tier gets you a few things. Uh, the, the just looking tier gets you early access to videos. So just case in point, I've shot like eight videos this week and they have access to all of them. If you can't afford to do that, that's fine. But if you're gonna do some shopping, I have affiliate links down below that you can use for stuff that you are already gonna get anyway and I get credit for it and then I get a paycheck from Amazon. If you wanna buy merch, I have the merch store front and the Ember Shirt Co. store front They're in the same area and I have a coupon code that you guys can use for any items through Ember Shirt Co., whether it's mine or not, and that's Crazy Sharp, all one word, capital C, capital S, Crazy Sharp, one word, saves you 10% at checkout. Guys, that's about it. Don't forget the GoFundMe that's going on for Jeff over at Tough Thumbs, and go give Super Steel Steve some support over on Rumble. Guys, that's it for this one. I love you all. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. Keep it clean in the comments sections, and I will see you in the next video.